Do you remember when a US congressional contender compared Meghan Markle's face to that of a Mesolithic individual called Shedman? In that case, a myth of origin and ancestry, Shedman, was leveraged online to antagonize others. This is a typical example of what I call heritage-based tribalism in big data ecologies. The public communication of research on the human past in these ecologies is affected by a number of different phenomena. Academies push to claim major social impact, the information deluge, the persistent influence of news media industries next to social networking sites, and a supposed erosion of trust in academic expertise. Our study examined how heritage-based tribalism emerges from these public communications by focusing specifically on the case of Cheddarman. In 2018, a team of researchers extracted and analysed nuclear DNA from the temporal bone of Cheddarman, an individual who died nearly 10,000 years ago and was found in the UK. The findings informed a reconstruction of his face. And this work was announced through a press release stating that Cheddarman had blue eyes, dark colored curly hair, and dark to black skin pigmentation, whereas previously many assumed that he had reduced skin pigmentation. The story was rapidly covered by an array of news outlets, experts, and activists through their websites and also their social media accounts. Marta Shijanka and I collected over 200,000 tweets containing the term Cheddarman from the 7th of February to the 28th of March 2018. We applied both data-intensive and qualitative methods to this data set in order to answer two questions. First, how was the news um, about Cheddarman's ancient DNA deployed um, on Twitter to exclude others? And second, which framings of the news on Twitter were most influential in fueling tribalism? We discovered four things. First, the communication of the news within Twitter triggered antagonistic framings of others on a number of related levels that you see displayed. Second, the forms of antagonistic othering that co-occurred most frequently were the ones that drew on views on race, trust in experts and political leaning. This suggests um, that racial views are not easily transformed by expert communications because expert communications are challenged by the same people who exclude others on racial grounds. Third, the framings of the news that were most influential in triggering um, heritage-based tribalism were introduced by both the right and left-leaning newspaper outlets and by activist websites. Fourth, characterizing Cheddarman's appearance as that of the first Brit while condemning the constructed nature um, of um, ideas of race came across as political and contributed to entice antagonistic othering. Based on this result, we suggest that an effective approach to dismantling modern constructions such as race is to focus on embedding nuanced heritage narratives within formal and informal education uh, offline. Ultimately, this strategy has the potential uh, to detribalize the perception of experts and increase trust in them.